continuation from our last video, Dr. John Belkowitz, Clodosilica, Shark Week. You were supposed to come up with a new name. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, we're excited to show you this mix that we're going after today. Did a last video on it. What we're trying to do is control segregation. That happens when you're putting a little bit too much water in a mix that has a, a, a water reducer in it. Um, and the Clodosilica helps you bring that back that mix back to a serviceable condition and you're not losing any of that strength with it too. So uh, I got my cement, my sand, my water, I can't my see it. Oh, sorry. 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 My cement, my sand, I don't want to spill that. I'm using a high range too, colloidal silica, and it's got this milky look to it because it's that larger particle that we were talking about in the last last video. Um, where it, this one uh, is a product by, uh, can I say that? Yeah, I can say that. It's a product by Nurion. It's called Levacil CB8. It's got a really wide distribution of pop particles, um, and it's great for controlling that segregation, especially with uh, a mix that we're going to create with today. So, um, yeah, let's get to mixing. Okay, so this is actually a pretty good grout right here. Uh, it's nice and fluid to pancake out, and then you're not seeing this separation, this haloing effect between the paste and the, uh, the aggregate. So that, that's basically what we want. And uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it past that edge, because right now it is right on the edge. This is a pretty looking mix, but we're gonna make it look ugly, and then we're gonna bring it back to life with some of this colloidal silica. And that is just a beautiful segregated mix where you have the aggregate has totally pulled away from the paste. that purposely segregated. I mean, you saw that milky white appearance at the top, which is the polycarboxylate migrating to the surface because the excessive amount of the water and polycarbide or the high range water reducer combined. You all saw the paste pull away from the aggregate because that is the leading sign or the telltale sign of segregation. When you have that separation of paste from that aggregate and the way that it shows it is first and foremost that halo and we had a dramatic and pronounced halo. Now it took me a little bit to control that and it should be a very hard thing to do. If your mix is created the right way, it's going to be robust and not sensitive to that extra addition of water or, or high range water reducer to cause that segregation. So by using a lot of colloidal silica, and I, I want you to bear in mind, I created a catastrophic event here that you really shouldn't see on your job site on a normal basis. And if you are seeing it, it's time to you know, invest some time into uh, looking at your mixes and getting a better hold of your mixes and dialing them in. That being said, by using colloidal silica at a very low dosage, you can create an insurance policy to some of your mixes that might have a tendency to some minor segregation. And then, if need be, you can always leave some of the stuff in the, uh, in the trucks uh, and or have it called out or use it at the plant 
to get a mix that has already gone to that segregation point and bring it back to, as I call life, like you saw there uh, in our video and our mixing time. So again, just a, a, a how-to on using colloidal silica. Um, I think, well, on dosage rates, you know, what would you need to create that? And I'll wrap it up here. So I use two particles, a three to 100 nanometer, which takes a lot more of that stuff, somewhere between 30 and 40 ounces per 100 weight to uh, stop that segregation, um, which is a really high dosage and it starts becoming expensive. Uh, and then I switch to a lower part or much, much smaller particle size of three to five nanometer. And that, I, you know, with, with a third of the dosage was able to kill that segregation issue. And I tell you, I mean, I impressed Patchouli today. Patchouli actually said, wow, that's cool about grout. I think that's the win for today. That's the lesson learned. That patchouli loves cement, grout, and concrete. Thanks for your time today. If you got any questions, leave them below. Have a great day. Go concrete, beat asphalt.